So the first thing that they did, they have constituted a national task force, which will go into the issue of safety and security of the doctors. And that report will be presented to the court, first an interim report and within two months the final report to ensure that doctors all over the country are protected. So that's the most important takeaway. The second takeaway is as far as the residents of Kar Hospital, the, uh, the RJ Kar Hospital are concerned. Now there, the Supreme Court was requesting all the doctors to go back to work. To that we pointed out the condition of that particular uh, hospital, that on the day when the attack took place, the women resident doctors were threatened with all kinds of dire consequences. As a result, and uh, the doctors, we represented an organization of doctors from West Bengal, that is Protect the Warrior, and uh, obviously the students, the, the resident doctors, they don't want to come because they are extremely scared. So uh, the Supreme Court has very clearly stated that so how do we how do we expect expect the doctors to join work if we don't provide them security? Mm. So the Supreme Court has directed central security mm. at the hospital premises mm. so that there is security for the resident doctors and they can resume the work mm. so that they don't feel threatened mm. and they come back and work. So um, whatever is happening in Supreme Court today, do you think? It will help in providing safety to the doctors. I think it's a Vishakha two moment. Mm -hmm. This is I can't uh, I can't uh, emphasize the the far-reaching consequences of this order mm -hmm. because at this point of time, all the doctors in unison, including the IMA, they have been complaining about the security of the doctors. So today, now by constituting this national task force, Supreme Court has, this is a milestone and this is exactly what the medical fraternity they require. They require that security and that's what this order is going to uh, hopefully lead to.